Hi, this is Dan McKinley from the Adobe Product Analytics Design Team. In this video, I'm going to show you the Net Growth View. Net Growth View answers a simple yet powerful question. Am I gaining or losing users? For many product teams, answering this question is critical. Let's take a look. When you open Net Growth View, you automatically get an insight without any setup required. In this example, you will see that your product has seen mostly consistent growth over a six month time period. In fact, it's up 37.5%. Net growth is calculated by dividing your new and return users by your door rent users. New users are active in the current time period, but not previously. Return users are active in the current month, not active in the previous month, but were active at some other point in the past. Dormant users are not active in the current month, but were active in the previous month. If the line is above one, then you are gaining users, and if it is below one, then you are losing them. While this initial screen might be all you need, many product teams will need an insight more specific than any event. For this example, we'll choose media start as our metric to determine active usage. We can also make the people group more specific by applying a filter. In this example, let's look at subscribers to a free plan to get a more specific insight. From Net Growth View, you can quickly switch to Active View to see the user groups broken down individually alongside repeat users. That's Net Growth View, the best place to go to answer the question, am I gaining or losing users? You can find it within User Growth Analysis inside Adobe Product Analytics.